When you're descending into the kelp forest, oh my god, I feel like I'm an astronaut who's exploring a new planet, like pure joy. Hi, I'm Sabrina Grant, and this is a day in my life as a scientific diver. Let's go! Sometimes a little bit of frustration when you get tangled in kelp. Sometimes a little bit cold when it's 48 degrees, but you go down there and you're like, oh, I know what this is, or I know why this is happening, and it just makes the diving so much more fun. On a sunny day, when the sunlight just goes through the water column and it's like shimmering on the kelp blades and it's just like one of the most beautiful things in the entire world. It's just the best ecosystem, what can I say? <laughs> we start at 7.30 and we offload all of our equipment, bring it onto our boat, and then from there we decide which site we're gonna go to based on the weather conditions of that day. Uh, we have a light wind. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nine millimeter suit. This keeps us much warmer when we're diving in 50 degree water for over an hour, so. The water cold. And then, cold boom, like a glove. <laughs> These are the data sheets that we have for the surveys that we're doing today. We like to fill out the site, the date, what type of site we're surveying. And this is really important because we need to make sure that when we're back we know what data it's associated with which site. All right, so we have our data sheets, we have our scuba units, and we have our positive attitudes. Let's get ready to do some science. <laughs> so today we're doing margin surveys, which is one of the two survey types that we're working on for this kelp forest recovery project. See you on the bottom. Margin surveys essentially is surveying the transition from an urchin barren into a healthy kelp forest. My role is the urchin diver. I'm counting purple and red urchins, and then I'm also looking at urchin behavior. So are they concealed or are they open and actively grazing? As a scientific diving intern, a lot of my job is, of course, scientific diving and getting in the water, but we also get to do a lot of other cool stuff on our dry day. For example, we have a scientific current in order to collect the urchins that we see underwater and study them more closely in the lab. One of the main reasons why we're collecting urchins is to support the hypothesis that urchins on that margin zone between a kelp forest and an urchin barren are the healthiest. Understanding how much urchins are consuming and what they're consuming, if they're healthy or starving, can be an indication of how healthy the ecosystem is. Giant kelp is a foundation species. So many other organisms and species rely on giant kelp. And so by conserving giant kelp, we're also protecting these tons of other species. That's a wrap. I feel empowered as an intern. The work that I'm doing is contributing to this larger project of trying to understand the mechanisms of kelp forest recovery. Investing in students is probably one of the most important things you could do as an institution. If we're opening up opportunities for young people like me, we're inspiring like the next generation to continue fighting for what's important and to want to protect and love nature. How do I just say science is so important? <laughs> and that's a day in my life as a scientific diving intern at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Thanks so much for joining me.